Hi Harper's Bazaar, I'm Madeline Klein and I'm going to share with you everything I eat in a day. First thing I do when I wake up, I usually wake up pretty thirsty so I'll probably chug some water. My go-to is usually coffee, but I'm trying to not drink coffee on an empty stomach, however, I am addicted. Recently I've been putting some oat milk, just regular old oat milk in my coffee, and then I'll sip on that for a while. Maybe put it in the microwave a couple times. Sometimes I'll wake up really hungry. On some days, a signature is going to In-N-Out for breakfast. In-N-Out and coffee, <laughs> breakfast of champions. My order is a double-double with everything on it, plus chopped chilies, and we'll a fry and a Diet Coke. Other days, well, maybe I'll do a breakfast sandwich or oatmeal, maybe a smoothie. After breakfast, I kind of get to doing whatever I'm doing. Usually I'll forget about lunch until I get hungry, which is probably maybe like four, and I'll realize I haven't eaten. Then I will probably post made something, a sandwich of some type. Usually I get a tuna melt from John's Garden in Malibu. It's their standard. I've asked them a few times to make it extra toasty, but I really love a tuna melt. That's been a big thing recently. If I'm going to snack, especially on set, I'm probably going to go with hot Cheetos or salt and vinegar chips, those snap pea crisps, good old vegetables and hummus, also delicious. And then for dinner, because usually I wait to eat lunch later, I will probably do something just like a little lighter. I love soup, chicken tortilla soup. I love a good green soup. Erewhon has a really, really great green soup that I like a lot. It's like lemony and it's got like broccoli and kale and like all sorts of green things. I imagine it's pretty healthy. Lemon orzo soup is really yummy, like lemon chicken and orzo. I love matzo ball soup, potato and leek soup, chili. Like the possibilities are endless here. Sometimes I really love to just make a charcuterie board, basically just an adult lunchable and then I'm I'm good. My perfect board would be brie or brie adjacent cheese. I love a good firm white cheese, <laughs> not white cheddar. I love to have like a little bit of salami, prosciutto, definitely obviously crackers. I love to have some fruit on there, like grapes. I'm not really a big nut fan on my charcuterie boards, but I love to have like a fig jam or a cherry jam, some like veggies, top off of like a, you know, lactate pill. One of my favorite places to go for girls night, especially while we're we're shooting in Charleston. It's called Leon's Oysters and Poultry, or basically fried chicken and oysters. And they have a great orange wine selection. It's an old car garage. The front of the place opens up, and so it's like kind of open air. It's really cute, delicious food. You can sit outside, have a glass of wine, and just shoot the shit. Speaking of orange wine, I found one recently that's really lovely. It's called Gravina. Delicious. Usually that's my go-to, but if I'm feeling spiffy, I'll probably do like a martini, like a dirty martini. Extra dirty, but like not like filthy, like not kinky, just a little kinky. I love olives, no blue cheese absolutely ever. They are not allowed, no, no blue cheese absolutely ever. Blue cheese is not allowed on the charcuterie. It is not allowed in olives. I'm sorry, no, but I like olives. I love olives. I don't know if I'll um, pronounce this right, but it's a Castle Vetrano, Castle Vetrano olive. Very mild, nutty flavor, great in martinis. I'm not a major dessert person, but every once in a while I'll get a craving for dessert and I really love, there's a bakery nearby that does little mini rum baba cakes and it's just these like sponge cakes soaked in rum and there's just a little bit of like a cream filling and they're so yummy and they're tiny and just enough that's all i need i also love tiramisu thank you for having me harper's bazaar and don't forget to check out glass onion and outer banks on netflix